everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Prison Architect. Now a lot of people have wanted me to play this game for a long time and I haven't gotten around to it, uh, mostly because I forgot about it, but I'm playing it now, I've never played it before, and I don't imagine it's a lot like The Escapist, which is more a game where you have to get out of a prison as opposed to getting in. Hello, CEO. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. Well, that's starting off on a cheerful note. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the big guy's big day. Oh boy! That CEO has too much of a smile on his face for this subject matter. But oh well. Okay. I didn't expect this to be as dark as this was. This is where I want the new facility to be built. I want more executions! I want to maximize our executionable efficiency! I want to do all the stuff we can. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself, with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell, so the guy in the holding cell can see his doom before it approaches, and know what he's getting himself into. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. Okay, we will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Yeah, we can't have people bashing through walls so eager to get in there. Ugh, build a large jail door in the south wall. Okay, foundation. Brick building. Whoa, bam! Building. Object. Large jail door. hook a -boofky. Okay. Got it. I did it, boss! Aren't you proud of me, boss? Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. Well, that's handy of them. Hope they don't do anything wrong or else they'll find themselves in jail. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of the construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use the WASD and arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay! Ooh! I have a lovely prison! If you can say that about a prison, I definitely have one. I wonder which one of these assholes is currently planning his escape. Well, they seem- well, I sp- I spy a problem already! All of the jail cell doors seem to be open! Hmm! Oh! Wow, that's actually a pretty efficient cooking staff. That's the thing about prisons. They get three square meals a day. I mean, I'm not saying that like that's a benefit, but I'm saying they efficiently do that sort of- Anyway, I'm not gonna make any political statements or anything about- I'm just- Prisons are bad. Especially here in America, but prisons are bad. Hello! Inside the building, I want a cell in an execution room. You got it, boss! Anything for you! Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Okay, brick walls. A boink, and a boink. I did it, and a boink, and a boink, and I'm guessing you want some... Probably some doors in between those, but I don't know exactly what you want in between the doors. Oh man, you guys are slow, but things seem to be going well. Oh yeah! This is a for-profit prison, which exists in real life, which is a very bizarre thing, but it does exist. So we gotta maintain uh, the correct prison population to be able to do what we need to do. Hi, Stacy. What are you doing in there? What's... Oh, I thought- I thought that was gonna say something else. Waymark, Fairborn, okay. Alright, done! We did it! Now add large jail doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or press R. Yeah, I could have done that before I actually got in there. Shit! No! Stop that! Okay. Boink! Got it. ba ba doop boop 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 Good thing they just got those in storage. Alright, we did it! Cool! That's looking good. Now we need to designate rooms within those spaces. For the killing! This one's the killing space! This is the killing corner! That's the corner where they cry! The crying corner and the killing corner! Oh boy. Alright. Designated as an execution room. You got it! <gasps> yeah! Execution! Woo! Oh! Man! It just doesn't feel right. These new rooms have requirements before they become functional. Yeah, like the Kill Detonator 2000. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. 
The execution room requires the electric chair. Oh, we're in that stage of technology. We don't need any lethal injections here. Good old fashioned electricity worked in the green mile. It can work here too. <laughs> okay, anyway. Herbie! I probably should rotate that so it's actually usable and not faced up against the wall. And I want this to be dead center. Shit. Dead center so that everyone can gather around in a big circle and watch them fry. Oh boy. Alrighty then. Speed it up, boink. It's eating time, apparently. Hello, friends. How's it going in here? Oh, were they fighting? I couldn't tell if they were fighting. Yeah, whatever. Hi, Thomas. No, not the light. Hi, Paul Thomas, sentenced to five years for kidnapping. He's got a whole family, too. Oh, I can punish him? I don't know if I want to do that yet. Okay. That's the essentials taken care of, but there's still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. You know, their well-being right before they get blasted through the brain with 10,000 amps of however- I don't know. Kill dead! Ugh. Okay. The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. Ooh! The execution room could be improved with live streams for the whole world to enjoy! And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Uh-huh. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. Oh! It's my- the world is literally my oyster. I get to make whatever the hell I want to make. It sounds delightful. Okay. And who is- oh, is this- is this the guy? Ooh. Hello! Ah, ooh. We're doing the slow zoom to raise the heightening dramaticism of this one moment. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey. Well, I hope it's not in question! Dang it! A teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision, we're just here to do a job. Once you're satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prison transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Oh! Oh, okay! Ah! So before I do that, I can add some niceties to this. Ooh! Ooh! Ugh. All right, let me add a paved path because that probably is necessary. Is this a right one? I hope so! We're gonna get a nice double wide on this bad boy there. That's real pretty looking. We're gonna get some marble tiling in here so that it Oh, that just made it look more sinister. I don't think it's quite done, but it's there. Alright, bookshelf. You know, necessary. A boink. A window for the outwards. How do we make that outwards? Wait, no, hang on. An outwards facing window. Okay, that's good. Oh! That is a delightful flooring! Oh, so tasteful! Mwah, mwah, mwah. Perfect for the electric chair. Ugh. All right, so that's paving is in progress. I guess that's all the path. So lights need to go boinkity boink, and then boink, and then boinkity boink. That'll look real good, I imagine. Wait, those. Do those go? Oh, okay, it did go. Okay, it's good. Okay, so they got him, definitely. That looks lovely. Now everyone's gonna be happy except for the guy that's gonna die. Okay, I added a bookshelf and a window. Is that happening? I hope so. I think it's happening. I think it happened. I'm not 100% sure. Hope that window got there. Yeah, the window got there. Okay, and then the bookshelf. Hurry up, man! You're last in line! I don't care if you have to haul around an entire bookshelf by yourself. You stop complaining and do your job! Or else you'll find yourself somewhere. Alright, anyway. So that is done. I got all of that, thankfully. Time to advance- Ooh. The chief. I don't like the look of the chief. The chief gives me the heebie-jeebies. Reminds me exactly of the chief from Shawshank Redemption. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh. I did- oh. I don't know, it's just so gritty with the Polaroid and the mustache. And his cheekbones are to die for. Literally. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold killer. Killer. Guilty as charged. 
He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? No! I'm fine! I didn't think I would be inundated with this many moral obligations. It's juicy stuff. Oh god! Stop talking! It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Ugh. I don't wanna- No! Oh god! Oh no! I didn't know this was gonna be part of it! I thought it was just gonna be a simulator game! Oh no! Oh! Oh, okay! What the hell? Oh my god! Oh, good golly! I knew I'd catch you two here! Wow. Edward's wife, Susan. Oh, yeah, okay. Edward, don't just- Oh, I don't want to read this. Oh, I don't want to read this. Oh, God. Oh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Clear as day, if you ask me, deserves every volt he's gonna get. Wow! Here I thought it was gonna be a happy fun game! Wow! All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example out of him. If he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when, he's, when I know he's gone. Oh my goodness! This game is so much heavier! Oh, then I, I never thought it was like this. I had no idea. Good work so far. Yeah, I feel good! Oh my god, I- I was- <laughs> Games are supposed to be fun and happy! Not really, but, you know, thought this one was gonna be. <laughs> However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't- I thought that was gonna say isn't fun yet, because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. Oh, okay. Wow, that looks fancy and interesting. How do I do this? We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode. Shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Oh my god, what did you do to my eyes? How could I see this? Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Ah, can these be sabotaged? Power is provided to the prison by this substation which draws electricity from the national grid. Okay, huh. So, prisoners could probably break that down and then cause all of the things to open. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison cells is without power, although the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Well, it's because the big wire no connect to over there. I've solved it with my big brain! The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing in the prison. Okay, utilities mode. Electrical cable. I did it! I did it good! Did I get it? Do I need to do the individual ones or is this gonna happen? I think it's gonna happen normally, right? Ooh, I, that doesn't look good. It needs to be rotated. No, that's fine. They'll, they'll fix it. Yeah, they'll fix it. I thought they would. Yeah, go, my little minions. Go! Ooh, look at them. <laughs> they work so well! Ba -da -ding! And then I'm guessing I need to connect this over to here. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does, too. Ha! Huh! I never would have thought I was gonna try to put two and two together, but my brain can't handle those numbers with what I just experienced. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Okay, I did that. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the main cables. I wonder why its amperage is so high. Okay, alrighty then. I think I did it already. 
Oh, man. These guys work tirelessly. Boy, do I- what are these guys doing out here? Are you lost? Go home! Jeez, you don't want to be here for this! Alright. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it. Oh, no! Oh, next thing I know, it's gonna find a small animal to test it on. My god! Don't do any of this. I'm just gonna turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay, and make sure nothing's in there! Ah, don't even bother looking. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Woo! Ah, that's not good. Well, shit. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're gonna need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Okay. <laughs> Alright, first we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting the switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and swi selecting switch on in the main menu. You got it! I thought... Follow, dismantle, switch on. There we go. Ba-doom! Okay, so we need more capacitors. Of course, of course. Yay! That should be enough! Once those are built, it's gonna be good. Seriously, why do they just wander around in that area over there and then wander around outside? Why couldn't you guys who are sticking around in here actually do something and help out over there? Good golly, Miss Molly, you guys are not helpful at all. Okay. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, so now I should be able to test it out. Hup-bim! hup -bim. Okay. Well done! I don't feel like I did a job well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business. Yes, this is business. Just business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Oh, of course I'm worried. Of course I'm worried. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Can I help you? Dot dot dot. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Okay. This is so sad. Oh my goodness. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Oh, so heavy. Oh, no! Oh, man! See, on the surface, what threw me off is this game looks so simplistic, and I assumed that it would be more... happy, fun, just a gamey game! I had no idea that it actually had, like, a store. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Also, I imagine that this is in another time period, probably in the 50s or 60s or something like that, because... Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the hood. Yeah, the hood's a nice touch. Oh, oh no, he looks so... Oh, Edward Romsey. 
You have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, oh, I'm sorry. Chapter two. Oh my goodness. See, I came into this. Oh, okay. What the hell is that? Oh, that's not good. I know a few. Oh, there's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. Yeah, no kidding. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put it out, stop any casualties, and prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Okay. Where? Here? There! Bam! Fire it up! How do I do this? What do I do? I am so confused. Oh god! It's spreading! Oh, do I call both of them? I'm calling both! We're calling both of them! Bring in the whole squad! Oh jeez. Oh jeez. You might want to hurry the frick up! What are you doing? What are you doing? Get over there! Get in there! Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Oh god, that looks bad. Oh gosh, that looks bad. Oh god. How do I- how do I extinguish- Oh, do I- Oh! Oh, do I have to like- What? Oh! Oh! Here! Th there I don't know! What do you want? Right? Click the right mouse. Oh, I didn't know that- I- I- if I'd have known, I would have done it! Oh jeez. Oh god, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know! Oh lordy Lou! Oh god, they're trying to get out! Oh man, that must be a bad situation to try to control the prisoners! Oh man, when they're all scrambling to get out! Oh wow! Spray it! Spray hard! Oh, three deaths! Who died? Who died? Was there anybody in there? I didn't know there was anybody in there! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh, I didn't mean it! Oh no! Holy crap! Oh, rescue him! Rescue him! Rescue him! He's still alive in there! Wow! They legitimately, like, risked their lives! Whoa! That is nuts! That is nuts. I, 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 I didn't even know that I was like, Oh man, I care so much about these little dots! Don't walk in the fire! Oh, don't stand right in the fire. He's standing right in the fire. Oh, you're still okay. Oh, you're still okay. Ah. Oh, he just went unconscious. Okay, that's not good. Oh. I had no idea. Okay. So now that the fire's been put out, I think, for the most part, there's still a little ember over there. Let me go get that. Don't, don't stand in the fire. Just put it out. Thank you. Okay. Now that that's done, now that the crisis is solved, my god, there's a survivor in the wreckage. Oh. Is he the one that started the fire? I have no idea. Christ on a crutch, it's Don Palermo. Of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. <laughs> okay. The bad news for him is that the budget cuts have meant we had to sack all our permanent doctors. The good news is our infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of Don Palermo whilst we sort this mess out. Oh, wow. We need to clear up this mess. Use the bulldoze tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all the debris. Okay. Designate a garbage zone adjacent to the road. Our workmen will dump the wreckage there for the garbage trucks to dispose of. Finally, can you send those firemen home now that they've done their job? And a few of them died? I've added more details on each of these objectives in your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Okay. Wow. 
Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to end this episode here just because I need to wrap my head around what the hell just happened. But wow, this game is way, 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 way more involved than I thought it was. That is nuts. But that's Prison Architect. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I'm going to play some more of this game. I want to know more. I came into this thinking I just got done playing Blueprint Tycoon, and I thought it was going to be kind of like that. I had no idea. So this is going to be a wild experience for me. I am very eager to see... What is this tucked away? Why is there a fireman's thing? Is that a fireman's thing? I have no idea. There's something tucked away over there. But either way, this is going to be a wild ride. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! What? That was the good option? How was that the good option? Okay. Oh, down here. Oh, good. Let me just sort through this with so much care. Fuck this guy.